ahead and mix your alginate. We're, since we're doing an upper, we'll go ahead and do three scoops okay, of alginate. And we want to do nice level scoops. Um, we want to make sure that uh, all of the alginate, you know, there's no bubbles inside of that. So you want to kind of tap it down and then scoop it across to make it even. So that has uh, three scoops. We have got three scoops of our water here um, that we keep in a bottle at room temperature daily um, so that we don't have fluctuation in um, the temperature. Uh, if you use tap water, it will vary. Um, in temperature um, because you have you can't use ice cold water and you can't use hot water you have to use something in between room temperature water we find is uh, very accurate and the set time is um, usually the same so we use that we'll go ahead and pour all three uh, all, all of that in uh, and mix it really good um, want to make sure that you incorporate all of the powder. Um, <clears throat> sometimes we get uh, impressions in and they're very grainy and that is a result of not mixing um, all of the powder into the liquid. It, you need to mix it until it's very, very smooth. Um, and you can kind of see how nice and smooth that is. That's how they need to be. If you find that you took the impression, it's very grainy, retake it because most likely we're not going to be able to use it here in the lab. So go ahead and squish that into your tray and flatten it out like so. Doesn't have to, you don't have to use all of that in, in your um, tray because it's going to end up gagging your patient. So we're going to come over here now to our model, Deanna, and we're going to go ahead and ask her to lift her head back just a little and open wide. Use what you have on your hand here and coat the inside of the teeth on the lingual side and the occlusal surface and also the buckle. What this does is it presses out any air bubbles um, and saliva bubbles that might be in there. Then go ahead and insert the upper seating from the back to the front. Keep the lip out and away and pull it towards the out par outer part of the impression. Go ahead and ask the patient to tip their head down so that it doesn't flow to the back and breathe through their mouth or their nose, whichever is most comfortable for them. This takes about a minute and a half to two minutes to set up. Um, and what you wanna make sure is that you check the tackiness of the impression material. Don't go by what the manufacturer says. You know, that's a ballpark. Uh, the uh, warmth uh, or coolness in the room have very, make that vary. The, how if the, the patient just took a cold drink of water, that makes uh, the time vary. So just check. Um, you can check whatever's on your hand. You can check inside the mouth. If it's still tacky, do not pull it out. It's going to warp the um, impression, therefore warping the model and we won't be able to use it in the lab um, and therefore you have to call your patient back and um, get a new impression. Um, the other thing is always hold it in the patient's mouth. Never um, put it in and walk away. I know that sounds elementary um, but I've seen it happen uh, and you want to hold it in and at the pressure never um, Never press harder or lighter. Just keep the, a normal pressure on it at all times so that um, you're not seeding it more and more as it sets up. That you're just allowing it to set where, it, where you originally placed it. Okay, so now we can see that this is nicely set up. Go ahead and open a little.